on tonight's show. Frank, what do you reckon to Norton? Oh, well, I admire Norton. He's a highly humorous freak. <laughs> and he'd be welcome to come round my detached bungalow any time he liked with a couple of A-list celebrities. <laughs> As long as he didn't ask for your son's hand in marriage, eh, Frank? Why would he do that? <laughs> well, it's legal these days, isn't it, for people like Norton and your son to get... There's nothing wrong with my son! <laughs> right, Frank. If he'd done that, I should say, Oi! Norton! No! <laughs> get your ring off my son's finger! <laughs> you disgusting, sparkly, jacketed, highly amusing leprechaun! Like it or no? Like it? Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, I don't want to brag, but I have been told it makes me look like a film star. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I have. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does. Uh, now, who's on my show for this week? Well, as you saw, comedy legends Harry Enfield and Paul Whitehouse are on the show. <laughs> the gorgeous Kim Cattrall is here. Actor Stanley Tucci is on the show. Plus, we've got music from your favorite new band, Years and Years. You love Years and Years. You love them. You love Years and Years. You do. I saw you love them. Oh. Now, back from our break, and it's election time. Everyone excited about the election? Wow, that's got to be a turnout, isn't it? <laughs> Votes are in. One. <laughs> no, it's a very close-run thing. I mean, some people say the balance of power could be held by the SNP and Nicola Sturgeon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and <I'm> doozy! <laughs> Everyone's out campaigning, and everywhere the party leaders go, people get so excited about the issues. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite picture though. That little girl just going, make him stop. <laughs> He's still talking. <laughs> and of course, it's very important to attract influential supporters. Nigel Farage has been harnessing the heavyweight political intellect of Joey Essex. <laughs> now, Joey, if you're watching, I don't mean to be rude, but you would have to be desperate for votes to be pictured with Joey Essex. <laughs> Utterly desperate. <laughs> utterly, utterly desperate. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, this weekend, there's the welcome distraction of the Grand National. I know many of my guests are very excited about that. Kim Cattrall loves it. Here she was a winning racehorse. Yeah. And uh, here's Harry Enfield with a runner-up. <laughs> Delicious. Talking of fine dining, Stanley Tucci will be telling us about his new cookbook. Yes, the Tucci Table. Such a good cookbook. Do you know, there's a recipe in there for a steak that is so simple to prepare, you could even make it yourself after the chef went home. You could. <laughs> Not too soon, surely. Let's get to the answer!
welcome all. Oh. You all well? Yeah. Yes, very yeah. good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Like the new look. Like the new look. What do you mean? The beard. What's that? It looks fantastic. It was a holiday thing. King Lear. Hmm? You look like a king. It looks like a king, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. King Lear. You could do King Lear now. Or a queen. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I am slightly got the face of a playing card, because if you turn it upside down now, it does look the same. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Now, listen, you might look at this couch, ladies and gentlemen, and you think, it's international, truly international. But au contraire, because now, Mr. Stanley Tucci... Yes, sir. You live here now. I do. And you love it here. I love it. Now, I love it. I live actually here. <laughs> well, here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's everything. It. It's 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 yeah. The audience know how you feel. Yeah. <laughs> 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 But the thing is, I love it here, yeah. but I moved from a bog. You moved, yeah. you, you moved from New York. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. But you genuinely like it here? I do. I really like it. No, my wife is British, and, uh, and you know, we, we ended up moving here. It was, it was time to go. And you've got a, a new little baby now? A new little baby, yes. Uh, a son? Yeah. Oh. A son. Oh. A, yes, a son. Yes, I think so, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I, what's his name? It's Matteo. Matteo, yes. Matteo Tucci. Matteo Oliver Tucci. Oh, oh isn't that nice? Oh, Mind yes. you, if you send him to school here, he will just be Matt Tucky. Yes, he will. <laughs> no, in fact, I, I said, I don't want, I said, Matteo, everyone's going to pronounce it incorrectly. And my wife said, oh, no, they won't. Matteo, it's very obvious. As soon as we get to, we just we took a trip. He took his first plane, plane trip. And, and the guy at the customs desk said, um, Oh, so, and, uh, Matteo? <laughs> and I was like, let's see. <laughs> Matt Tucky and his dad, Stan yeah, Tucky. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and Kim Cattrall, now, famously, you, um, you, we all know you were born here, but you do spend a lot of time here now. Yes, yes, the last ten years. But there's Keen and there's Keen. Do, do you, you, you actually go to football matches in Liverpool? When I'm in Liverpool, yes, yes, I do. I go to Anfield, mm -hmm. not Everton, of course. A Anfield is oh, Liverpool okay. is my team. Yes. Okay, yes. but now I heard that the Liverpool <clears throat> players then return the favour. Well, one of them did, Stevie G. I went to Anfield, and uh, he said that he would like to come and see the play that I was doing, which was Anthony Cleopatra at the Liverpool Playhouse. So, um, you know, yes, he brought his friends, and luckily. It was the one Shakespearean play that he took in school. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have to explain everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was all right, you know. Yeah, it's all right, you know. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right yeah. Got a bit bored, so I raked me studs down the back of her leg, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he said. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do the Liverpool accent? I can. You know I can. Oh, you, she can? That's right. Swagger. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. 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 You're not from off tonight, yeah. Okay. Okay. Kim, okay. down, calm. Calm down, all Kim. Right. Hey. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Nick. It's what? <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, Paul, we think of you as pure London, but in fact, you are from Wales. Yeah, I was born in the Rhondda Valley, and I moved to London when I was four. And uh, I spoke like that then. I spoke like a very lovely Welsh accent. Oh, I love and a very lilting accent from the valleys. And uh, I was very quiet for a month. And, uh, <laughs> and then in pure mockney, I went to my mum. Mum, I want to go to South End. <laughs> <laughs> Three, six, five, and that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it broke her heart, but you know, I had to fit in. I had to fit in, Grant. Yeah, but is that where you think the voices, like how you were able to do the voices from that, from um, well, the switch a, between those accents? It's possible, I suppose, certainly for Welsh in London, but I don't think it helped with Geordie. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Because, uh, Harry, we know you do the voices, but impressions. See, it wasn't until we watched the story of the twos. I don't know if you saw the story of twos. I don't know if is it still on iPlayer? If it's not, it should uh, be. I don't know. But it's brilliant. Uh, it's wonderful. No, seriously, it's like a tour de force. Did anyone sketches. see it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, seriously, you are missing. It is so so good. The story of the twos. I loved it. And in there, because you do impressions, but such good. Like your Margaret Thatcher. Had you ever done Margaret Thatcher? When it was a thing? No, I hadn't, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we do with her, really. I said no, and Graham asked me for something, and I said no, Graham, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> when you were doing... No, no, no. <laughs> no. Have you ever seen... There's a brilliant video on the uh, internet. Just... If you type in Maggie won't jump, you will see her. She won't jump. Basically, an interviewer well, asked anymore, she her to jump, and she goes, what? No. I won't <laughs> jump, no. And it, it, it's just brilliant. It's <laughs> if you didn't see it, this is a reminder of Harry giving us Margaret Thatcher. And I said to Tonight on 40 Minutes, Margaret Thatcher, is she sexy? Good morning, John. Goose fat. And he said, I know, madam. Margaret was never the easiest person to get on with in Cabinet. But there was something about her. We remember Geoffrey coming to see us one day with a policy that we didn't much care for. And I said, please, Margaret. And we said, no, Geoffrey, no. She was a really sexy woman. I remember going to her. And we remember Nigel came to see us and he said, you must, Prime Minister, I insist. I was very insistent. And we said, no, Nigel, no. I said, Margaret, please. And we said, no, Geoffrey, no. I said, Margaret, please listen. And we said, no, Nigel, we will not listen. I said, Margaret, I'm pleading with you on bended knee, you mad, power-crazed bint. And we said, no, Geoffrey, no. I said, Margaret, just listen for one minute, you completely deranged old boot. I said, Margaret. We said, no, Nigel, no. Bad dog, Nigel. No, no, no. You bad dog. Now, lots to talk about tonight, uh, because obviously you guys are going on tour. Uh, yes, Stan we're going has on got tour. a cookbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but let's start with Kim, Kim Cattrall, because you're back on television. With you, and it's not a sitcom, Sensitive Skin, is it? No, it's sort of a dark comedy. Well, what, yes, I was, I was watching it. It struck me, it's, it's almost like a, an indie movie chopped into slices. It's, it's not like even like a TV show. It's like a film. Well, that's really interesting that you said that because we actually... <laughs> 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 because we actually shot it like a film. Oh, OK. Because we had all of the six scripts because it was an adaptation of the original Sensitive Skin, which Joanna Lumley did, which Hugo Blick wrote. And what we did was we shot all the scenes, as you do in a movie, all the scenes in one location and then all the scenes in the next location, which usually a television show you don't do that because you do one script at a time and you don't have all of the scripts for the season. You know, you get them as they come. But here, because we were adapting it, we had all six episodes so we could interchange. So it felt like we were doing exactly as you said, an independent film. And it, uh, here it's on Scar It's One, Wednesdays at 10 o'clock. And uh, so, j just so people don't know the premise of Sensitive Skin. Well, it's, it's a, a, about a woman, or actually a married couple, going through the woman's midlife crisis. It's a riot. <laughs> 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 but you really wanted to make this show, though. Desperately, yes, because I was going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> I wanted to do it before it was over. You wanted to get, <laughs> you wanted to get paid for it. Well, yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, no point in going sense. through them for free. That's true. That's true. <laughs> well, so we've got a clip which kind of, uh, I suppose, sort of sets up uh, the, the premise. Oh, this is when she's getting her HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy <laughs> for those of you who aren't there yet <laughs> and she's getting a little attitude from a younger woman who is uh, giving her the prescription and how long have you been on hormone replacement therapy 10 years ish uh, 11 you are over 50 yes may I have it are you aware of the negative side effects associated with prolonged use of HRT I am Nausea, headaches, migraines, dizziness, general disorientation, memory loss, palpitations, hot flashes, increased blood pressure, stroke, heart disease, and increased risk of cancer of the breast, uterus, ovaries, and fallopian tubes. But on the plus side, it makes you look younger. Lisa? Well, why don't you just get a haircut? Excuse me? No, you can't get ovarian cancer from a haircut. If you want to look younger, why not just get a haircut? <laughs> why don't you just shut the f up and give me my hormones? <laughs> I, love, I, love how, I love how high 
how high that counter is. <laughs> yeah, but, in, but in the States, they yeah, all they do. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. So you can't climb over and get it's all the drugs. True, but yeah. it's also kind of how she feels, too. Yeah, yeah, she feels yeah. so yeah. small and insignificant. So was it a big deal deciding to go back to telly? Because this is your first kind of thing back on, like, sort of episodic television, isn't it? Yes. Well, uh, you know, I just really couldn't find something that was sort of original and new. And uh, the thing that I loved about Sex and the City, which was really great, was, uh, is that I, I felt with all four characters, you know, we were, we were sort of breaking new ground in a very original way. And I think that can be a very addictive thing, where you're doing something on a precipice and you think, wow, I've never seen a scene like this before. It becomes addictive, especially for women's stories. And have you made your peace with that sort of cheer, that, you know, that Samantha Jones will be part of your life forever? I just loved playing her. She was so courageous, and the thing that I loved about her the most was that she was not judgmental. That's what I really loved about her. No matter what the situation was, you name yeah, it, yeah. Uh, she really would come up with some kind of positive way of looking at it, whether it was you know, a bad date, a bad marriage, or even breast cancer. And talking of iconic characters, now, Stanley, yes. uh, Hunger Games, yes. which is so you, <laughs> see, <you're... laughs> your legacy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caesar Flickerman yeah. is kind of, he's very kind of over the top, and... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I love your teeth. Thank you. God. Thank you. Actually, they are very good teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, but yeah. for real. Yeah. Uh, because when the movie came out, yeah. people uh, tweeted me and said, oh, that character, is it you? Like, as in me. Right. And, and I thought, well, that's just stupid. But then I read an interview with you yeah. where you were talking about the elements that went into it. Yes. <laughs> what are you saying? And I got a name check. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, you know, when you create a character, you steal from... I'm sorry, I've sort of lost my voice today. I apologize. Dude, that's fine. <clears throat> I was talking about you all day today, and I just... <laughs> you know, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, I, I, um, I... When you create a character, you, you, you know, you sort of call from all different sources and everything like that. So we could say that that he's a sort of, he's a cross between Wayne Newton and uh, a little piece of you. Tiny. A little piece, tiny. tiny. The intelligence no. is yours. Nice, oh. nice recovery. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you. You'll and, be back. Yeah. I, <laughs> and, 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 the, and Jiminy Glick. Oh, yeah. You know, that wonderful thing that Martin Short does. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, talking of characters, Harry and Paul, hundreds over the years. Now, are most of these characters based on real people? Or well, they just made the uppy people. Ooh, well, up. loads of money's not. He's, he, was, he was a sort mm. of distillation of an attitude, really, wasn't it, that existed yeah. around that time. So that was rather eloquent of me, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 See? You see? Yeah. 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 Stavros. Stavros was real, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Adam Afanasio, he was called, yeah. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> no more monkey biz. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a very nice block. Yeah, stop but... in love making in my shop, innit? Stop yeah. in love making. <laughs> <laughs> Because you, you were saying you have watched some of these sketches. Yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. Well yeah. done, research. Yeah. 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 In the green room. Yeah. 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 Kevin, you saw him too? Yes. Oh, God, yes. My wife showed me when we first met. She said, you, there's, you know, we were watching certain things. That, you know, you find out things you have in common with someone. Mm. Luckily, we spoke the same language. That was good. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, she said, I want you to watch this. And it was the Kevin. Oh, really? Stuff. Oh, okay. oh, my God. Well, and I have three teenagers. At really? Home. Yeah. Yes, and I have raised other. other I've raised everyone. And, and, <laughs> and, uh, the dead, even. And, and anyway, it was. It, it's not extreme in any way, no, shape, or form. It's not no, really. You know, it's, it's, no. it's, it's, it's a documentary. It's I've actually got one. <laughs> I did it before I had my own children. Uh huh. Yeah. And then when my son came out, he was a yeah. ginge. Yeah. <laughs> I know what's coming now, but actually he's nothing like him. He's actually really nice. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. He gets that from his mother, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, the ginge or the niceness? The niceness. Oh. <laughs> and are the two of you quite competitive? I mean, if you're together, is there a kind of... Are they going to mention my characters? Are they going to mention his yeah. characters? No. Doing... No, only on... <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. 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 No, I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think we are, right? I, I don't mind at all that you've got many more BAFTAs. Than <laughs> <you>. <laughs> it doesn't affect me at all, I don't mind. Um, 
And something told me that on the, the tour, yes. you are going to attempt the Lee and Lance singing sketch. Oh, yes. There was a sketch about him not being able to sing. So we're trying to teach him a Eurythmic song and he just can't sing it. And the end he goes, oh, I can sing opera. Well, no, because I, when, watching on telly, I always assumed that you lip-synced that. Yeah, did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, how about this? I do. That's not <laughs> No, I know you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> you want me to do it then, don't you? Yeah. Ah, bravo, figaro, bravo, bravissimo, ah, bravo, figaro, bravo, bravissimo, fortunatissimo, 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 per verità, la 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 Well, from Italian opera to fine Italian cuisine, link, uh, because uh, Stanley Tucci uh, has written a cookbook, yeah. uh, The Tucci Table, and now this isn't you just adding a new string to your bow, I mean, you are a cook. I like to cook, yes, yes. And it's not even your first cookbook. No, no, no. Well, the first cookbook was something that I put together for my uh, parents and a French-trained uh, Italian chef, a friend of mine, after I did The Big Night, which was the first movie I... Yeah. <clears throat> and then the book came out, and it did, it did very well. This was quite a long time ago. Um, but then, after I met Felicity, she's a literary agent, and the, it seemed that the first book was quite coveted, um, though it was out of print. So she was able to get the book reissued, and part of the deal was that I would do another book, but I would do it myself. And as it turns out, I said to Fee, I said, I, I'm not quite sure what I want to do, but I think what we should do is a book together, which is really just about the way we cook. The way we cook every day for our friends, for our family, all the things that we love to cook, things that we discover as we, as we go to restaurants, as we travel around the world, but also just things that, from our childhood. So it's a sort of Italo-American, English, Mishmash of and and when sounds it, awful, doesn't no, it? No, no. <laughs> what I like about it is that it's not just you or Felicity. Do your kids have recipes yeah, in here yeah, as yeah, well? Yeah. yeah, it's very sweet, and it's not all Italian, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, yeah. no, 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 Thank God for Felicity. Thank God is right. She yes. brings us a delicious recipe for sausage rolls, but like proper, proper sausage rolls. They're so good that she can't make them anymore. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, I know what you no, mean. Oh, really? I mean, yeah. yeah. No, I'd be dead of a heart attack. I mean, well, I'm sure you would, because there's a very interesting bit in the recipe. Uh, Felicity writes, uh, you just need some well-sourced sausage meat. See Stanley's tip next page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. The woman's not make them anymore. Uh, I know. I know. One time, that was it. I know. Yeah. It's all over. Yeah. I turned the page with interest. Yeah. I was like, wow! <laughs> this, I've never seen a cookbook like this before. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, quite, yeah. quite the thing. Yeah, it's, in a, it's, in, it's not in the cooking book section. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is. It's gorgeous. And it just, I, it just uh, the pictures of you and your family, it's a very kind of aspirational kind of like, I wish I could live like that. Right, right. You know. Right. It's all pretend. <laughs> It really is. I don't have it, children. It, it, yeah. <laughs> but you can tell it isn't pretend. It is no, real. No, no, it is, it is real. It is real. And everyone likes to live like, who doesn't like having people over to entertain and stuff? Yeah. What, you don't? You do oh, I can't bear I don't even like my friends. <laughs> you don't? No, I don't. No, do you, do you, not really. No, do you yeah. must have people over. Sometimes. I let my children in. I like them. <laughs> have you been to his house, Harry? Every day he comes. Sure. That's different. Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are a bit like an old married couple, aren't we? Yes? Yeah, we are really. I haven't had sex for ten years now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> that was a bit I didn't like. <laughs> you are like an old married couple. <laughs> but here's the thing. Now, uh, presumably everyone likes going to restaurants. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. We oh, love God. even Paul. I go to restaurants. Like, so I can go. On his own. Yeah. Mm. You like so, going on no, your own. I like going with other people, but then I can go. Oh, you got yeah. Anything. I've got. I've got lots of friends. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the spring has sprung. We're thinking of going abroad, and eating in restaurants abroad is oh. Fraught with danger, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because we found a selection of poor and sometimes, frankly, just essentially lazy 
translations into English on foreign menus. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So imagine we're all in a restaurant together. Yeah. And I turn to Stanley. I said, "What are you going to get?" And Stanley might reply, "Well, I'm going to get the sausage and the father-in-law." <laughs> <laughs> It conjures up. <laughs> it must be some sort of toad in the hole, must yeah. it? Yeah. It's what? getting worse. Yeah. It must yeah. Yeah. This, this is a, I mean, really, oh. I mean, I don't think it's anybody. It's a specific relative, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, really? Really? Well, you know. yeah. And I don't think anyone wants this German type sexual harassment. <laughs> I don't think you can go wrong with a nice place of <laughs> hand shredded ass meat. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, everyone's favourite. Do you want some more? <laughs> Just another handful. <laughs> uh, what do we have next? What wine goes with that? Stanley, you know. What wine <laughs> goes with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm doing a wine pairing menu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a special brunch for the weekend. I might have the fresh salad followed by a variety of opinions. <laughs> I like that. Isn't that I like that. That, you can almost yeah. imagine that on a menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Under a magic cost, though. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's like Parliament. Is that, is what they serve in Parliament. But then sometimes people are just a bit lazy. So this one, there's bigger <laughs> menu. Uh, there's some smoked cow feet, <laughs> and then they just. Cow something. <laughs> I looked it up. There wasn't there. Just cow something. I don't know. It's just it's beef, in it? Just have it. But that person took a bit of trouble. This next person couldn't be bothered at all. And item number two on the menu. Whatever. <laughs> it's food, isn't it? It's food. <laughs> have it. It's only your dinner. You'll eat again. It's whatever. We move on oh. to dessert now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. oh. let's all let's all have a bowl of nuts with scum. <laughs> <laughs> What's nuts with scum? You can get strawberries with scum as well. <laughs> and if you really want to push the boat out, why not have some chocolate puke? <laughs> And, uh, and finally, is there anyone who live who doesn't like sweet tight pussy? <laughs> <laughs> well, on all the badly translated food. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. But sure, okay. Oh, I should say. I should say uh, the future table is out now. It's in shops now. Yes, it's in shops now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Featuring none of those recipes. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see Stanley's tip. Uh, <laughs> What's left of it? Yeah. <laughs> right now, Harry and Paul together for 25 years. That's <laughs> something. <laughs> so to celebrate this, to celebrate this milestone, you're going back on the road. Well, we're going on the road for the first time, really. Yeah. Together. I mean, you yeah. came before in 1988 when I last did it, but to, to watch you. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> he did a little bit. He did oh, a little I see. Bit. Oh, but now yeah. it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you oh, modestly it's... entitled the tour Legends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 That's right. Homage to Deep Purple there and Matt Rushmore. Oh, nice. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No. Uh, no, well, the reason why, I, I mean, it sort of happened about ten years ago. People stopped going, I really like you, and just started going, you're a legend. And I think it just meant, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> tickets, tickets, by the way, for the show, they go on sale on the 20th of April. Presumably online eat yeah, However online you buy tickets. Or something. You know, if you were to buy tickets, you'd do that on the 20th of April. <laughs> That's what you do, yeah. And now, is the show, have you put it together yet? Uh, we've written about half of it. Yeah, we've written half of yeah. it. At the moment, it's ten minutes long. <laughs> so, uh, it, 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 in and out, short and sweet. Now, we've done about an, an hour, hour, and yeah. then we're going to have what's called so a break. So, it's not just greatest hits. This is, these are new sketches. No, it's about two hours, and there'll be a few greatest hits, like we'll make him sing that song again. 
<laughs> Maybe I'll do it properly this time. And there'll be, you know, we're doing sort of characters off our last show, Harry and Paul, but mainly we're doing the old characters like the Scousers and Loads of Money and the old Gits. Maybe Stavros. Stavros, um, maybe. Kevin, 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 and Kevin, a teenager, yeah. And, like, people will be ecstatic. Yeah. When you well, let's hope so, because we ain't going to be able to remember any of our lines. So, <laughs> what do you think? If we just come on in, in character and, and Wave, we'll get off. We'll yeah, just wave. Hello. <laughs> and then we're off. I'm Kevin the Teenager. <laughs> 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 on a salad chair lift. <laughs> no, um, yeah, no, I think it would be good. We keep on saying we were going to do it, and then. Uh, we kept on, you know, oh, well, maybe not this year, next year. And then Paul got iller and iller and had to have loads of stents in his heart. And I thought, well, he's going to die soon. <laughs> <laughs> so we might as well do it now. Yeah. With any luck, and he'll die actually on stage. You know, that'd be well, There's a very good chance we'll die every night. But <laughs> there is also, I mean, a real chance that I might drop dead on stage. Now, come on, that's a lottery ticket. Yeah, it really it? is. You know, and he'll be very grateful because he... We've done the contract. Yeah. If one of us dies, the other one gets it's all the nice, money. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's in here. It's in here. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, yeah. it's obvious you still get on, but giving you wishing him dead, clearly <laughs> not. <laughs> well, it's only know, for the show, darling. <laughs> it's for the show. <laughs> uh, well, Smashy and Nicey, they must be making an appearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. <laughs> and are you going to update? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, they kind of updated themselves, really, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> They've been in the news a lot, Smashing Nicey. Because yeah. looking back, I mean, Smashing Nicey, they were kind of responsible for the death of that kind of DJ, weren't they? Like, Radio 1 changed overnight because of Yes. That. I mean, in, in fact, Matthew Bannister, who was then head of Radio 1, said he saw Smashing Nicey and sacked everyone. <laughs> and so we kind of got the blame for it, but... At the time, we thought, that's bad, but when we yeah. realised what most of them are like... <laughs> <laughs> We're about to introduce our musical guests oh, okay. tonight. So I wondered, could you possibly do it in the style of Smashy and Nicey? Um, now, I do have some croppage, if you need some you? croppage. Uh, what have I got? I I've got uh, the, hair. Oh, Anyone want hair? You've still got hair, haven't you? Uh, there's hair. Thank you. Lovely, hair. yeah. And, and actually, <laughs> this, is, this is a bit like I've just gone into the no, wrong, room in a, wrong room in a bed and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> some tissues. <laughs> some tissues. Uh, there's, some te there's some teeth in a bowl. <laughs> A fly, there's a bit of arse meat in it. <laughs> that's, Lovely. Uh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. look on me mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we have sunglasses. What? OK. OK, so Where can do we you look? OK, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, off you go. Hi, Gherkins. I'm quite literally Mike Smash. Quite literally Britain's most <laughs> fantastic DJ. And I'm the former DJ, formerly known as Rocktastic Sir Dave Nice. Till they took away your title and renamed you Prisoner 13607. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like to talk about that, good <laughs> Orchid of which. <laughs> Here's a pop combo. The lead singer of whom confessed to preferring the fast show to Harry Enfield and Jumps. Hanging's too good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have three cheers for years and years. <laughs>
Let's name check. It's Ollie there, yes. and then Mikey, yep. and then Amir, Amir, Emmer, Emmer, Emery, Emery. It's all got a Y Emery. on the end. Teddy, Gary, and Barry. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Uh, in monogram, congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Uh, it's Thank all going very well this year so far. Yeah, so far. Yeah, so far. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, big, it, big hit single, big hit single, uh, sound of 2015, the BBC thing, which is huge. Yes, thanks BBC. Thank yeah. you. No, but I mean, you know. And you're top of the pops, aren't you? Um, we were. A couple oh, yeah. Of ago, yeah. Yeah, I saw you up there. <laughs> <laughs> and that, by the way, that song is off the album Communion. Nice cover. Start saving now because it's out on Monday, the 22nd of June. <laughs> <laughs> if you save a penny a day, what do you afford it? The 22nd of June. <laughs> You're really getting that message out there. You can pre-order pre it. Is it finished? Pre-order it. Yeah. I'm going to pre-order it. Thank <laughs> you. That's so good. I might be dead by the time. <laughs> 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 right. Uh, before we go, let's uh, have our first visit of the series to the big red chair. Oh, yes. Oh my. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down, guys. Here we go. Hi. Who's there? Oh my goodness. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hi, okay. <laughs> uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Curtis. Curtis. Wow. And uh, are you <laughs> under eight feet? Yes. <laughs> How tall are you? Uh, five ten. No. You must have really short legs and then an extraordinary long body. Yeah. Is that kind of it? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. And, uh, and what do you do, Curtis? Uh, I'm a labourer. Okay. And uh, where are you from? New Zealand. Oh, we love a New Zealander. We love a New Zealander. And what sort of, when you say labour, do you mean buildings? Yes. Yep. So what are the things are you building? Uh, just renovations in Chelsea. So. Oh, yeah. Just, <laughs> all I do is cut timber around the yard. You cart timber around a yard. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All five foot ten of him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> off we go with your story, Curtis. <laughs> all right, it was about five years ago. First time meeting my partner's uh, father. Here they decide to play a game of craning. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> there you go, a little bit of animation. Well done. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me my dogs were dead. You were just, you were just sat there going, it was about five years ago. <laughs> it didn't, I didn't really feel you were in anecdote mode. <laughs> okay, Curtis, you're on now, you're on now. Look at you. Oh, blood's are flowing. Go, go, go. They, 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 they try to make us play cranium. They pull out the charades. Oh, here, yeah. Here it says on the card that I have to milk a cow. I didn't really know how to act this out, so I get my girlfriend, first time meeting the father on the floor on all four knees, start pretending to milk the teeth in front of your father. <laughs> How did that go? Uh, it was pretty silent. It was quite a long, <laughs> long journey between meetings. <laughs> you, you deserve to be flipped, but it was a good story. Hey. Who's, who's up next? Hi, I'm Andrew. Oh, right. What do you do? 
I'm a headhunter. A headhunter? It sounds exciting when people say it, yeah. and then you yeah. remember how boring it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> off, off you go with your story. Okay, so my fiance is from the Czech Republic, and um, a big, big tradition there on Easter Monday, and this is fact, is the, the girls beg to get whipped. <gasps> Wait, so, what? Bit of a weekend. Bit of a okay, this is written. No, I we're not. No. <laughs> Where we got these people from? They, I don't know. Were they vetted? I, I love Sally Duty. Were they vetted? <laughs> <laughs> it is like it is like we left the door open over the weekend. <laughs> Some people just wandered in. Okay, <laughs> next one, please. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Petra. Petra. And where are you from, Petra? I'm Republic. from Czech Republic. Yeah. 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 Happy Easter. Sadly, just like, Happy Easter. I'm surprised she can sit down. <laughs> Is that true? Is it true? Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. We're begging to be whipped <laughs> on Easter Monday. No, Petra. Yeah. Got, no, you, you don't beg to be whipped, do you, Petra? I do. <laughs> What's all that about? On, on an Easter Monday. Only on the Easter Monday. On an Easter Monday. Why? It's a tradition that um, <laughs> if you get whipped on Easter Monday, you will remain beautiful and healthy for the upcoming year. Uh, who came up with that one? Who came, yeah, really? I think it was I me. Think, oh, yeah. I think a man came up with yeah, that really. one. Yeah, really. I don't think any woman kind of went, hmm. Hmm. or maybe she thought, maybe she thought, then I'll get it out of the way in the one day. <laughs> We won't be doing it again right, on right. The Easter Tuesday. Uh, Supposedly, do work. you have a story, or are you just here I to? Do. Oh, you Actually, do have a story. Off I you do. go. Off you go. Yeah. So about three years ago, my fiance and I we went to Paris uh, for a romantic weekend, and at the hotel I realized I don't have a toothbrush, so I decided to pop into the pharmacy while he was waiting outside. So I walked back out and I said, "Well, you would be surprised." but French people actually are really nice and polite. And he said, well, how come? And I said, well, if you show a bit of effort and speak a little bit of French instead of English, they really appreciate it. And he said, so what did you say? And I said, well, I walk in. I said, bonjour, monsieur, je voudrais. And... <laughs> That's it for tonight. Thank you so much for my guests. Years and years, everybody. Yeah.